Okay. Good morning, my dear students. My name is Mrs. Banita Chitri, and my subject is economics. Okay. So first of all, we'll start from the simple definitions of economics. Now, what is economics? From the layman point of view, economics is the study of human activities in relation to wealth. Now, here the question comes: What is wealth? Okay. Wealth means money, isn't it? So. If you have to understand the above definitions of economics, first we have to understand the basic fundamentals of economics. Okay, so to explain the fundamentals of economics, I'm giving you one simple example. Okay, so you should take a close look around the activities. Okay, of several people, what you'll see, you'll see different peoples are busy in different activities. Say, for example, students are going to school for studies, doctors are attending their patients in hospitals, workers are working at the factories, and so on. So now, if you ask any one of them as why they are doing so, the ultimate answer that you'll get is they want to be capable of something, earning at present or in due course of time. Okay, so what we understand from the above definition is the activities of earning and spending money are known as your economic activities and the subject which deals with all these activities is known as your economic. So the people will perform different activities to earn money and in economics what we study? We study economics is the study which deals with all these activities. Understood? So, but you should remember one thing. All the human activities are not related as your economic activities. Say for example, a mother taking care of her children. That is not your economic activities. Because in return, the mother won't get any reward. Isn't it? Suppose you have done some charitable work. Okay, you have given some donation. That doesn't count your economic activities because you are not doing that activities for the sake of money and all. Okay, so that is the difference between your economic activities and non-economic activities. Okay, so this is the basic, the simple meaning of economics from the layman point of view. Now, we'll see the different definitions of economics given by the different economists. Okay, for today in our class, first definition that we'll do is your wealth definitions. The first definition that we'll do today is your wealth definitions, which was given by Adam Smith. Okay, Adam Smith, he is called the father of economics. Okay, Adam Smith is known as the father of economics and he wrote one book an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nations okay in the year 1776 okay so he is the author of the famous book an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nation okay which was published in the year 1776 according to him now what is wealth according to him according to adam smith wealth means those goods which satisfy human wants so those goods okay if you buy something and that gives that goods give you 100% satisfaction that is called wealth according to Adam Smith, okay? But remember one thing, all goods like does not consider as your wealth. For example, sunlight, air, they are present, they are present like plenty of, like uh, we have plenty of uh, airs and like uh, waters, okay? But that goods are not considered very wealth because they are not unlimited in supply, okay? We consider only those goods which are relatively scarce and have money value. So wealth according to Adam Smith means those goods which are relatively scarce and have money value. That is called your wealth, okay? So According to Adam Smith, the another point is economic concern with the problems arising from wealth and getting wealth using activities of people. How the people will earn money, how the people will earn wealth. So that is considered wealth according to Adam Smith definitions. Understood? So, but when we study Adam Smith definitions of economics, we have to keep in mind that the time where he, he lived, okay? He was writing his famous book, as I told you in the beginning, at the, on the eve of the 
industrial revolution okay the large investment of capital and use of large scale machinery okay enabled england to produce wealth on a large scale so that is the reason why adam smith put more emphasis on wealth okay so that is adam smith definitions of economics now but adam smith definitions of economics is not free from the criticisms okay so the first criticism that is i have not written here but listen it properly the first criticisms of adam smith definition the first criticism was too much stress on wealth okay adam smith only talk about the wealth okay so how to earn wealth what are the ways to earn wealth so these are the basic criticisms of adam smith definition because he has given he has put all the efforts to increase the wealth and all okay next thing is next criticism is your only he give more important to the material goods okay material goods is a tangible goods which you can see which you can feel and by using that goods and commodity you can make money he consider only that goods that is number 2 criticism of adam smith definitions okay but nowadays economic concern the services of doctors lawyer teachers etc they are also included in the definitions of economics these are intangible we can only feel the services provided by these people isn't it so these uh, he adam smith did not consider these goods as your like these things in his definitions okay the last one like adam smith for uh, ignores the problem of scarcity if we have like a number of problem number of scarcity isn't it so adam smith did not mention like scarcity in his definitions okay so these are the criticism of adam smith definition and the adam smith definition is known as your well definitions of economics okay thank you my dear students